What's up, YouTube? We are back with another one for Madden 21. Yes, heavyweights dropped today. They they put a bunch of 96s in it. I think it's five or six 96s. I believe it's five like normal, but maybe it's six. I have no idea. But as you can see, we have the training. We're just going to get right into it right away. I'm going to show you at the end what I'm going to do because I might do something different today. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, but let's go. Let's see how it is. We got a 90 Grady Jarrett to start. Come on. I mean, let's, after you, if you guys watched yesterday's videos, you know for a fact, we got issues when we pull in cards, guys. We got issues. But we're going to go ahead and look at the very end. We're going to check and see if any of these cards we should actually just quick sell for training again or so on. Because there was a method yesterday that we did uh, from Braden. Braden, I know you watch all the videos. Shout out to you. We made about 450,000 coins using only 50,000 training. And uh, if you wanna know that method, hit the like button and maybe we'll share it tomorrow, right? Hit that like button, guys. Uh, it really helps me out. Also, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, guys. I mean, we're growing quickly. I mean, we, we growing fast. We're over 500 now. We're on our way. We're halfway to 1,000, guys. We're halfway there. That's the goal, to hit 1,000 before uh, Madden 22 comes out, and then we blow up, and then we blow up. Um, you know, hopefully not too much, though, because we don't want a lot of people to be stealing. We don't, want, we don't want everybody using these methods, right? We don't want, well, yes, we do. Yes, we do. We want everybody using these methods. Uh, clearly, as of right now, as you can see, not very good, right? Not very good. But like I said, we're going to go through it at the end. This might be okay yet. There's a 96. There's a new guy. Yes, we needed that guy. We absolutely needed that guy after what we were pulling. But like I said, there might be other ways to maybe turn, turn these cards into some gold, right? There might be some ways. And so we're going to kind of explore those at the end of the video. Hopefully, um, you know, we do pretty well. But, you know, it is what it is, right? That's, that's just what happens. Uh, let's go on and... and uh, Kind of just show you the big pulls here. I don't want to waste a lot of your time. You know, your time is valuable. If it ends up being a five-minute to seven-minute video, that's okay. Hey, 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 there we go. We got Elton Jenkins. All right. We got another big one. Not, not many big ones. I know. I know. But you know what? I didn't expect it. I mean, who knows if they've raised it. I mean, Demarcus Lawrence that time. Uh, not looking terrible, guys. It's not looking terrible. I think we might be okay. I guess we'll find out at the end of the video, right? All right, we are on our last pull. I think we pulled okay. I mean, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. I mean, we did 40 pulls like always. That's what we usually do when we go to test anything out. We we're looking for, usually in heavyweights, I was pulling about 11% to be 94, 95. So you add in the 96s, you know, we'll see what we get today. I'm, I want to say we got five. I want to say we got five. But uh, we're going to go actually sort by heavyweights because I don't believe I have any other heavyweights in my program. So let's go ahead and search by heavyweights. Yep, we got 40 right there. As you can see right here, we pulled five. We pulled 196, 295s, 294s. We got a bunch. Let's go to the 89s. We got 89s. We have 14 out of 40, which is we used to roll 89s at a 62.9% clip at heavyweights. Clearly, they've increased the odds to where you're going to get a lot more 90s. But let's go ahead and take a look at the coin um, because we just don't know. We don't know until we're done. All right, so the first look, we're going to look at our 89s. I want to show you a few things here. Let's look at Richie Incognito. If we were to sell him on the auction house, he would be selling for 23,000 coins. All right, that right there uh, is a 6.38 value. That guy is a definite sell. Right, it's a definite sell. Right, if it gets down to about three coins and three coins per training, then we don't want to. But let's look at Laramie Tunzel. Let's enter him. Look at that sixteen five hundred. Let's look at that's a four point five by the way. So that's a definite sell also. I mean, it's looking good. This is fourteen. Okay, so we put it in for fourteen. We do have to factor in the auction house clearly. So if you want to factor in the auction house fourteen, that's twelve six. Right, would be put in there a Calgary. That's a 3.5. We could buy training cheaper than that. So that is a definite sell also. However, if you wanted to quick sell that, I would under I would completely understand. I would completely understand. 
Um, look at there, Brandon Lindor. Actually, when I did my calculations, I calculated him at 20K because I figure he's not selling for that. He's not going to sell for that kind of stuff. So for the total for 89s, we had 232,000 coins out of 89s. Let's go to the next ones. Oh, right. We went ahead and looked at the 90s. Now, let me tell you this. You saw the 89s. They're tougher to pull now. You can see that the 90s prices are down. Right, the Grady Jarrett's are 18k. Patrick Ricard is around 20k. Jarrell Casey's around 20k. Demarcus Lawrence is about 20k. But Kenny Clark is 35k. So Kenny Clark is a definite sell. The other guys you could probably just quick sell. Honestly, I mean, if you sell them for 18k or 20k, yes, they are above training. They definitely are above training. So you can go ahead and sell them. But let's take a look and see how much all those calculated up to. We're looking at. Let me add all this up really fast here. We got uh, how many 90s we got here? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine, 8. We got 8. So we got another 160K right there because I already had done the Grady Jarrett's because they're 18K and the other guys. So we're looking at 321,000 coins in the 90s. So that's pretty good. Um, that's pretty good. And again, they're all above sell value right now or above training value. So that's important. All right. We are looking at the 91s now. Let's take a peek. We got three Ted Caresses. Let's look and see. He's at 27K. So that's a total of 71,000 coins right there just for Ted Caress. Now let's put him in our handy dandy training calculator. 27K um, after tax is what? 24, 3. So let's check and see what he would be at for training value if we were to sell him as a 3.4. So definitely we can still sell him. Um, he's above training value. Like I said, heavyweights are, you know, hit or miss, right? Heavyweights, we've always done really, really well on heavyweights. Let's be honest here. We've had very few times where we've actually lost coin um, on heavyweights. So it's usually pretty good. Uh, let's put in 26,000 for that guy. Let's go to Carlos Dunlap. Look at he is at 30. We'll put him at 33,000. Um, he does not have a power up, so I'm a little bit surprised at why he's so high, but that's okay. Let's get right into our 94s now. Uh, we're going to look at 94s. Now, this is where we really got to pay attention to training value. Um, he's looking at 72,000. Uh, let's times that by 0.9. Comes up to 64.8. What does that come up with uh, for training value? That is looking at 3.2. That's pretty borderline to me. Um, but definitely you can sell him because you can buy training cheaper. There's 93,000 for that guy. So that's good. Let's keep adding it up here. Let's keep adding it up. So we got 93,000. Now let's get into our 95s right away. Again, we got to look at training value. So 95s at 110. That means you're going to get about 100K back. Training value for a 96, that's a 2.7. That is a train. We got to quick sell him for training. That's. Unfortunately, we're going to have to quick sell both of them for training, right? However, for the case of the video, we want to make sure we see how much coin they're worth. So we're going to go to 110. Uh, again, I would be quick selling those guys and trying to pull 89s. You guys saw the value for 89s. They're high. So I would definitely, and I will be quick selling these guys. I'm not going to be selling these guys. I'm going to be quick selling them, and I'm going to be trying to pull 89s and 90s, honestly. Um, you can see Eric McCoy, he's way too high. There's no way he's going to sell for that. We are going to put him up for 200. Um, actually, I put those in numbers in. Yeah, I, actually, I put those numbers in wrong. I'm sorry. 95s are a sell. My bad. That's my fault. I added them up wrong. Uh, I put them in the wrong calculator. I put them in the 96, which gives you the 2.7. But I'm going to be selling this 96. I'm going to sell all these cards. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just going to sell them all. So I'm going to backtrack just a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. Yep. We are going to be selling those 95s. That's my fault, guys. Um, so if you're watching this video, yes, I'm an idiot at times. Uh, I do make mistakes. <laughs> and uh, I put them in the wrong calculator. 95s are a definite sell. A definite sell. They are way too high. You can see 100K. Uh, we're looking to buy 95s for about 75k, so they're a definite sell. Eric McCoy, as you can see, he's going for a pretty plenty. We're going to put him up for 300k. Um, is he going to sell for that? No, probably not. But just in case he does, but we're going to put him in our handy dandy calculator as 200k because I think 200k might be reasonable for him. Uh, actually, no, we're going to put him up for 150. 
So, ah, uh, we're going to put him up for 300K and hope he sells for that. However, in our handy dandy calculator, we're going to value him at about 180K. Uh, yeah, 180K. That should be good. So, 560 so far, just in those five cards right there. Let's go ahead and add up all the rest of our cards. We got 130 for for our 91s. We got 321 for our 90s. We have 232 for our 89s. Um, so that brings us to 1.243 million coins. We're going to times that by 0 0.9. That's 1.118. And it costs us 840,000 coins to do the roll, which means, and you know it, we profited 278,000 on heavyweights. Do I recommend heavyweights? Yes, but watch the prices before you determine whether or not this is a roll for you. But as always, guys, Heavyweights has always been pretty good. For whatever reason, heavyweights has always been pretty good. But I would definitely do heavyweights if you have the time, if you have the training, if you could buy the training for 2.8 uh, or even 3. I would definitely be doing heavyweights. But look at the prices before you do them. But guys, that's the video. I'll see you later.